next question, and Sargon, you'll be answering this one first. The town of Grafton was fortunate to pass an override in 2014 to stabilize our schools and help with road repair. How do you plan to continue to ensure stable funding for schools in future years as costs continue to rise and override money levels out? Well, I, I think the first thing we would do is uh, we'd have to talk to the school department, school committee, and I know they deal with their budget, and I would, we would have to have a talk with uh, Jay uh, and the town administrator and see what they're, where they're at with that budget. And I think going forward, we would have to take a serious look at where, where, that, where, where we're at as a town and where they're at with that budget, and if they're happy with it, then, then, then they're happy, and if not, then we have to look at options and see what we can do. But uh, anything to, to help certainly is good, but also we can't sit here and try to tax everybody every single time. So we need to come up with better solutions, and definitely with the, first, the first thing I would do would be talking to the superintendent and seeing where he is with his budget and take it from there. Yeah, another excellent question. Um, right now, Grafton is running what's called a structural deficit, which means that our expenses uh, on a yearly basis are outpacing our revenue, and they're just ordinary expenses. We're not even talking about the extraordinary stuff that comes up occasionally. So what we need to do is attack it from two prongs. Number one, address uh, the cost side, and number two, address the income side. When the TA was here presenting to FinCom, his opinion was, well, it's really kind of an income problem, and if we could just get some development over at Centec Park and get our commercial base up, that would really help. I think that's part of it. I think the other side of it is you have to identify cost drivers. Right now, 80% of our costs are salaries in town. We need to address whether or not those salaries are rising at a level faster than our income, and if so, what can we do to bring those down? It may very well be that the town is happy with where those are, but you've got to address cost drivers. That includes also health care. Health care has been a huge cost driver historically. We did some good work on that, moving um, health care over to the GIC, but we could probably really address that a little more and do, do better. Thanks. Um, there's a lot of pieces to that question. Ed brought up a few of them. Sargon did too. I mean, the, the override money, um, We'll see how far that carries us. I think it's going to carry us a, longer than, a lot further than we initially thought because it's 525. That was the agreement that was made um, between the town administrator and, the, and the, the, uh, the superintendent of schools initially. Now, you have to consider that in that 525, there's, there's, some, there's the two and a half um, that, we, that we bring in annually. So that, that's helping, I think, to, to, to lengthen the time that we'll be able to extend the 525. So um, I think right now the, the superintendent is comfortable at the funding levels. We'll see what the future brings. Um, right now the schools are getting about a million and a half dollars uh, annually um, increase to their budget. The town side gets 200000 just to kind of put it in perspective. So the gap between town service uh, increases and school department increases, is that gap is growing. Um, so historically what we've done am i all done <laughs> we figured it out and we will continue to figure it out some some pre-planning and some game day decisions go ahead just briefly um I, I i do want to disagree on that last point I, I don't think we figured it out i think if we had figured it out we wouldn't be running the structural deficit we're looking, it's gonna be a scary time in 2019 or 2020 when we really do run out of that override money. We could maybe extend it a couple years by being creative, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be going through this cycle of uh, increases and going to the town for more money and then coming back. And at some point, people are going to be fatigued by that, um, both emotionally and financially. You know, you get to a point where people aren't just, they're not gonna pony up anymore. So that really worries me because that'll be about the time that I, my kids will be going through the schools. And it's, so it's something that you really need to get out in front of now, start preparing for the future and start having discussions. If I can, I mean, just from what I understand, and I don't, don't act like I know a lot, a lot about everything about schools, but one thing I do know is, is with speaking to the TA and, and speaking to Mr. Cummings, uh, it seems like they haven't come forward to the board or anybody else for looking for more money or asking for more money and they seem that they're content with the budget that they have and the money they have now so the idea of it being scary in the future and not having enough I, I, don't, I don't know 
Yeah, I, I would say, I mean, I don't know what a structural deficit is. I've never heard that term before. Um, I know that, it, you know, teacher salaries annually increases about 800000 just for that because most of their budget is, is labor. Um, you know, I think the state is looking at their formula, which we get funded. I mean, Grafton is kind of kind of in a, this area where, you know, we're not Westboro or Shrewsbury. We don't have all the commercial development, um, but we but our per, per capita income here is pretty good. So we're not Northbridge or Oxbridge or Millbury, where their percentages uh, of funding for the schools is a lot higher because of the per capita earner. The state only funds 30, 35 percent of our school budget. Where in Northbridge, they fund 65 percent of their school budget. And that's just because of where we are in that formula. So I'm hoping the state's going to gonna change that formula. Um, in the meantime, half of the increase annually is going to teacher salaries or, 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 or for staff salaries. Um, and I think with the bump they got initially with, with, the, um, with the override, I think, I think we'll be in good shape for a while.